guess you're the new um, waitress. Hi, um, I'm Gwen, and uh, I am your superior here. I'm one of the lead waitresses. Um, basically, I run this place. Okay. So, anyways, my boss told me I had to come here and um, go over all the. And things that you need to know, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure how successful you're going to be as a waitress, but I mean, um, you could try. Why not? So I'm going to go over all the facts with you and um, tips and things like that, and then they said you have to shadow me. I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to let you do for shadowing because I don't really want you to mess up with my shift and get in the way of my tips and things like that. So we'll see. Anyways, um, number one, always look presentable. Now for you, that is clearly key. I mean, you honestly look like you rolled out of bed. Like, did you have a shower? <laughs> did you brush your teeth? Ugh, gross, disgusting. Okay, so you really need to make sure that you come with clean hair, fresh breath, some gum, fix that, okay? Um, some makeup or something to kind of make that face of yours look a little better. I mean, I mean, there's not much you can do, I guess, when you look like that, but I think some makeup would help, okay? And, um, wear something a bit cuter. I mean, yes, I realize. I just, oh, that is just a whole other topic. You need to go and like what not to wear or something. Jeez. Okay, what does it say? So there's no uniform. It's really just to be presentable. Um, and don't wear any kind of logos or things that have like a certain store. Like, I mean, you probably shop at like Gap Kids or something. I don't even know, but none of that. Okay, no labels. Um, just unidentifiable clothing like this one, okay? And uh, not overly revealing, not that there's much to reveal, but they do like us to stay somewhat modest. It's still kind of fun and flirty. Shoes-wise, um, I would recommend something... Well, something cuter than what you've got, but something comfortable that you can wear all day. Okay, um, let's see what Obviously, your clothes need to be presentable, again, clean, ironed, no wrinkles or stains or anything like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it says here, it's gonna give your customers a better first impression and make your boss happy, and, um, I guess, you know, just in general, it's good. Alright, nails. Now, we can wear nail polish. That is the most chipped nail polish I've ever seen. So you're gonna want to get manicures on the regular, get those cuticles sorted out to make sure they're all clean, make sure you've, you know, clean under your nails, you wash your hands, all of that kind of stuff. Jeez. And then I guess jewelry-wise, nothing too big or anything that could get caught on things, you know, hoop earrings are kind of dangerous, so in terms of that, just being careful, but I mean let's focus on the clothing and the face you know, don't even add jewelry don't even add to the mess that is clearly you okay, alright now, the first thing you need to do is know the menu thoroughly take it home, read it over study it I don't know you don't look the brightest, so really make sure you learn it, okay? You need to be familiar with all of the items. It's gonna save you a lot of time and trouble when taking orders, especially knowing what has sides and what those sides are, so you can ask, um, and making sure if there's any allergies to say, and did you want to get the cheese on that, or what have you, okay? Um, 
yeah, or like any sandwiches, we have different breads, so you gotta know what those are, and um, so you can ask which one they'd want, whole wheat, etc., okay? Alright, and then another thing that's really important is we do have a lot of customers um, who have allergies or dietary restrictions, so really go over the menu, know what has common allergens, and then know what can be an alternative that you can offer them, okay? Yeah, you need to be as helpful as you possibly can be. I know it's probably new for you, but yeah. And then also, we do sometimes have daily specials like soups or desserts, so make sure you know those before the shift starts, okay? Any questions? <sighs> okay, moving on. Um, you also want to suggest additional purchases goal here is to make money. This is a job, and um, they're not going to keep you on if you're making them lose money and missing out on opportunities, okay? So you want to suggest different drinks, desserts, um, and different sides or upgrades or things like that, okay? Also, know what liquors are the most expensive and alcohols. So when they request a drink, you can offer the most expensive one first. And they can say either, yeah, sure, or they can check the menu. That's what I always do, because the higher the customer has to pay, the higher your tip's gonna be. Which is obviously the most important. Not that you'll probably be getting any tips anytime soon, but... Anyways. Always ask if the table would like an appetizer. We have a huge selection of appetizers. They're really, really good. Um, I mean... I don't really know how much more food you can afford to eat before you don't fit in any of your clothes anymore. But, I mean, I, I mean, maybe go on a diet. But it's also a good idea to kind of try everything on the menu so that you can give your own personal opinion. But maybe do that kind of slowly over time. Alright? Okay, it's also important to multitask. You're going to have a much easier shift you can accomplish a few tasks in one trip to the kitchen and back. So you want to take different kind of empty dishes from the tables. Whenever you're on your way to the kitchen, fill up a tray with several tables, wants of condiments or drinks, napkins, similar items, instead of carrying them all out one by one. And unless you can confidently remember every task, write every request down and check it off once you've um, done it. I mean, personally, Key, you don't look the brightest, so I would recommend that. Okay, it's also important to manage your time well. You want to keep track of how long it's been since you last checked on each table, and become familiar with how long each meal takes to cook. Plan to visit each table after they finished each course. Move briskly without running, and try to maintain a steady pace to keep everything running smoothly on your knowledge of any waiting times for the customers to keep them happy. If someone orders a well-done steak, make sure you let them know that it's going to take a little longer. Or if soup just ran out and the cook needs to make a new one, let the customer know how long it will take, and if not, suggest an alternative, okay? You really need to stay on top of all of that and make sure that the customer is happy. Questions? No? Alright. Next up, you need to check the food before you bring it to the customer, okay? There are a lot of disgusted people like you, honestly, who work in the back. I mean, I've seen people pick their nose, or they forget to wear their hair nuts, and they get hair in the food, and fingernails. I don't know, it's disgusting, okay? So always check your food before you bring it to the customer, otherwise you are not going to have a good shift. They're going to probably leave without paying. It's not going to end well, so always check it, okay? Especially check as well if there are any special requests. Again, not only are the people in the kitchen disgusting, but also dumb as hell, okay? You tell them no cheese, they put on extra cheese, okay? So make sure you double check. That's really also your responsibility. If an order gets messed up, which will happen, let the kitchen know and also tell the customers, okay? If the customer, um, don't tell the customer that there's hair or something like that in their food, just tell them that there was a delay. Okay. Also, it's important to anticipate any kind of common requests. Most customers, for instance, will want ketchup with their burger. Kids often drop silverware, so bring extra. 
once you get to know which requests are popular um, with each meal and customer, you can bring them to table the table in advance, okay? This saves with you and the customer's time and makes them feel taken care of. You can even keep extra silverware, condiment packets, and napkins in your apron pocket, okay? Which we'll get to your uniform in a, I mean your apron in a minute, okay? Um, also, don't let a bad tip ruin your shift. Especially for you, you're new, you look a mess, you probably are horrible at your job. So you're probably not going to get any tips at all right now. So don't let that upset you or let it ruin your shift. Just let that make you, um, you know, inspired to be a little bit more like me because I'm amazing. Um, don't complain to the table about the bad tip. Like, honestly, I don't blame them. They give you a bad tip. And no matter how um, horrible or great, I guess, your service was, um, and you, that can honestly get you fired, but also sets you up as a complaining type and creates bad relationships with all the other wait staff. Okay, so don't ruin this for me. And I mean, I doubt this will be the case for you, but some people just don't tip ever. Um, they may not be able to afford tip, or they may not um, be from here. They might be from a country where tipping doesn't happen. Okay, but I mean, I wouldn't tell yourself probably because you suck. Never sit around and do nothing, okay? Now, by judging by you, you're probably lazy as fuck. Um, a bit overweight, so you probably don't really do much, do you? Alright? But at this job, you have to be on your feet 24-7, always doing things, okay? Don't leave everything for me. No, this is a team work job. I mean, I know that I'm the leader, but you are still my follower. You still have to work hard, okay? So, um, if you have no t customers to take care of, then clean. Clean different tables, um, bringing all the dishes back, setting up new, um, cutleries and napkins and things for next round of customers to come. Clean, clean, clean. There's always something to be done. Um, um, also, if you notice any other tables or customers at different tables who need something, maybe you can tell they're trying to flag a waitress down, but they're busy, then go to them and see what you can do. Um, you won't need to do this for me or my section, obviously, because I know what I'm doing, but, um, definitely keep an eye on that. Also, stay neutral in arguments over who will pay. I'm sure you've never been in this kind of situation where maybe you've been on a date, and the um, person you're with wants to pay for you and you want to pay and you kind of fight and squabble and it's cute. And again, I know, I know you've probably never been on a date so you don't have the experience. But say that happens and that will frequently, honestly, just be totally neutral about it. Put the bill in the middle and say I'll come back for whomever's gonna, when it's paid for or something. And don't get involved. Even if they try to involve you, stay completely neutral, okay? Um, also, when any diners order literally any drink other than water, ask if they'd also like water, especially when they order caffeine and alcohol. Um, many people especially like to drink water to counteract the dehydrating and mood-changing effects of these substances, but also water is just a good thing to bring. Now, the final thing before we get to your kind of customer service is never put anything that goes on the ground onto the table. Always go to the kitchen and get a clean one, whether that be napkins, silverware, even just the bottom of a salt shaker. Okay, now, judging by you, I'm sure you eat freaking food off the ground, you slob, but do not do that at this restaurant. We are prestigious. I mean, honestly, I don't know how you got this job, but don't fuck it up, okay? That's disgusting. Alright, now, talking to customers. I'm sure you've probably never talked to anyone really before in your life. You seem a bit socially awkward. Um, but hopefully with practice, you'll improve a little. Um, anyways, what you want to do is introduce yourself to your customers. Make eye contact with them after they've seated and promptly introduce yourself, okay? This starts the conversation outright, leading to better tips on average, and gives them a polite way to get your attention later. You 
can also multitask doing this by also passing out the menus and checking that every customer has enough silverware or napkins. Um, you can even offer to get them a drink right away. So you can walk and say, hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Gwen. And I'll be your server today. Here's the menus. Can I get you guys started with anything to drink? Some water? Yes, no? Then you can say, alright, I'll come back with that or I'll come back in a few minutes. See if you're ready then. Um, etc. Okay? You've always got to stay polite, friendly, and helpful even with angry customers. And let me tell you, we get some dumb, annoying, and rude customers in here who claim they said no mayo, and you bring them mayo and they get really upset even though they didn't say no mayo. It's so frustrating. But, um, whenever you're speaking to a customer, you have to remember that they're always right. Um, you gotta be respectful in terms of how you address them, such as sir, ma'am, miss. You wanna act friendly, positive, and make your customers feel as comfortable as possible, okay? Ask the customer whether they've dined at your restaurant before. That way, if they are new, first-time customers, you can welcome them and offer your help with the menu. You wanna appear friendly, but do not get involved in the customer's conversations unless asked. Do your job, then leave the customer to eat or talk in relative privacy. Always remember to smile, no matter how irritating customers or coworkers can be. Just put on a pleasant face and suck it up. I'll save you a lot of drama. So like right now, I'm being so nice and friendly to you, even though I really think that you're a piece of shit and I wish that you didn't work here with me because you're totally gonna ruin everything and make more work for me. But see, I'm so happy and smiling, so no matter how you really feel on the inside, don't show that on the outside, okay? And you also don't want to talk or gossip about customers even when you think they can't hear you. Remain polite and respectful when discussing them in case they are in your shot. Okay? Be smart about it, That's honestly. You also want to check on your customers regularly and give them updates. Also make sure you stop by to refill your customer's glass whenever it gets low. We've got obviously refillable coffee, water, tea. You can ask if they would like a new pop, but again, they're gonna have to pay for that. Um, clear out all the old dishes promptly, but not without talking to the customer. Don't just go up to the table and take the dishes and walk away. Say, hey, how you guys doing? I'm gonna take these for you. Is there anything else I can get? And always, always, I don't care if the plate is empty, make sure you ask if they're finished before you take it, okay? And if there's a lot of food left, ask whether the food was alright. Um, whether there was an issue and then definitely deal with that. You can also offer to bring them some kind of um, carry-out container so they can bring the rest home if they did like it. Um, we're definitely allowed to give the customer something a little extra if they are really unsatisfied with their bad experience, um, which could totally save your tip. Um, so this could be a little thing like a free drink or, you know, um, a dessert or some slice of cake something like that, or um, if this is still kind of early on, maybe an appetizer. Whatever really that they kind of like that's in the five dollar range. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna follow me around, I'm gonna give you kind of tour of the place, and you can shadow me. Um, really, in that situation, I want you to kind of stay a good five to ten meters away from me. I don't want your smell to kind of infect me, nor I want people to see us together, because that will only make me look worse. Um, and I'm not down for that, okay? Don't talk to any of my customers, don't touch anything, I don't want your dirty hands touching anything and getting in the way of my tips. You can simply watch from a distance, okay? I mean, like, good luck here, but if you don't come back, I won't be surprised, because you don't really seem to cut out for it. Okay, come on then, let's go. 